The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. What's up, Scorpios? It's 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's going on, y'all? So I'm super excited because one of my students, well, I don't have students. I don't know what to say, but people who are under me or people who listen to me within like five or six months time, they're building something within six months to a year. They have a new platform. Between two years, they've already been generating some kind of form of income from it. So I'm just really happy, you know what I'm saying? One of my followers who has the same birthday as me just launched a uh, YouTube platform. Um, his name is Jay. I'm going to put his link underneath this video. His birthday is the exact same birthday as us, Scorpio. So even if you, you know what I'm saying, check out his content. Because I don't want y'all following nobody. Y'all don't like his content. But his content is dope. And he's a masculine energy, you know what I'm saying? Talking about this kind of energy and how, you know, Everything helped him to move on to this path. So check it out. The link will be in the description box right underneath this video. And I'm just proud of him, man. I'm proud of all of my followers. Some of you guys got platforms and Spotify stuff now. Y'all just doing y'all thing. And you know, it's always good. You need to be with somebody or a tarot card reader or someone who just grows with you. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to be with somebody. And you're not going to always be with me, y'all. Y'all going to learn new people. You're going to find other people. You're going to do your thing. All right. So <clears throat> bump all that, you know, just giving him his homage because I'm just so proud of him. But anyway, guys, if you want a personal reading with me, all of that will be in the description box below. I also do entrepreneur reads. You need to go ahead and cop you one. I'm trying to tell you. Okay. Also, guys, check out tyworld.com. That's my daughter's brand. We got books. We got games. We got puzzles. We do it all. All right. So we're going to do a little sign difference tonight. All right. So we're going to do all about Scorpios. And I'm going to try to do this once a week where we're only focusing on what the fuck matters to us. We only focusing on us and what we need to do, you know, and what needs to happen for for our lives okay now um this was actually inspired by one of my followers all right because she was talking about how like dang we just need some place for us you know and scorpios is some goddamn you know we, we we a little bit of selfish you know what i'm saying we want everything to be about us and and that's okay you know we we hold occultic information so there's a lot of information that we have to get through that we have to say that we have to share all right so it is what it is so I am going to read, <clears throat> this is not my content. I want to be very clear about this, but this girl is a beast, okay? Some of you guys know her, but if you don't, you will know her after today. Her name is Scorpio Mystique, okay? This girl is super dope. Everything she says is accurate. You know, it's just bomb, okay? She really knows what she's doing, and I'm really just grateful, you know, to even be reading this and even knowing her, all right? So I am releasing this video on July 25th, and this is going to be for July 25th and July 26th. So it reads, how are you feeling as we approach this Leo new moon Scorpio? Leo season about aligning your long-term goals with your current career intuition or um, ideas. Believing that anything you describe is possible. Leo energy is about being confident, even if you have reasons to feel insecure. That's what being that's what you're being asked to do at this point in time. That doesn't mean that you're faking it until you're making it, but rather acknowledging you're the one who decides what making it looks like. With the moon being in cancer on Monday and Tuesday, use your intuitive wisdom to tap into that repressed emotion, especially with us being in a dark of the moon period. What do you have to face within yourself to feel lighter and, and to feel less intense pressure? This is a good time to psychologically release burdens weighing you down and take it breath by breath, okay? So just know you're gonna be feeling like, you know what? I don't know how the fuck I'm going to pay this bill in 19 days, but all I fucking know is that today I got the energy to put my best foot forward and I'm going to do what needs to be done. This need to be the energy of all Scorpios. You could also feel like you just feeling really determined, like you got this energy to get your shit done. Use that energy at this time, Scorpio, to get it done. I've been feeling like that too. I've been busting videos back, back to back to back to back ever since the Capricorn new moon. And it's just some energy that I didn't even have before. So spirit is telling you, do what you need to do, man. Get out your own way. All right, Scorpios. That was from Scorpio Mystique. This girl is the bomb.com. I've been following her for years. 
All right, so let's just get into your reading, okay? All right, so let's see what Scorpios need to know about us. What what do we need to know, okay? So spirit guides and ancestors, what do we need to know? What's coming up against us? That was quick. All right, so we need to learn, understand balance. Balance with home life, work life, mommy life, daddy life, chilling life, TLC life. You know, spirit is basically working with us on how to get our whole program ready. You know what I'm saying? Because we, some of us are really good at it and some of us just don't know what the fuck we do and we just do whatever needs our immediate attention. And spirit is trying to bring balance into our, our life, okay? A, st a state of perfect harmony into our world and I do so without judgment, okay? So a lot of you guys could be see, receiving a lot of ridicule for what you're doing, the steps that you're taking, the moves that you're making. But Spirit is basically removing all those people out of your life. You can't even hear them no more. You don't see them no more. And this is because you're getting balanced. You're getting more of positive energy rather than energy that could be negative. Now, even if these people are talking about you, because this whole card is blue, so they are talking about you, even though you cannot hear it or you can sense it. Spirit is pulling your sensory away from those people, Scorpio, so that you can be more balanced and be with people who represent and do the things that you do, okay? What else do my Scorpios need to know for July 25th, okay? So Spirit is telling you, you need to stay with a strict plan, okay? Whatever this is, it's for service, it's for the community, it's for other people, but you need to be very disciplined. If you're going to say you're going to be here at 9 o'clock, show your ass up at nine o'clock you know what i'm saying even even if you don't please show up okay acknowledge something say what you need to be do need to be done most of you guys have a business and you need to carry it as a business if you know you're going to be open be open at this time okay because people really care about having that service and people really like routine they like structure they like to be like nah you know my girl gonna be on at eight o'clock you know what i'm saying i gotta get my daily reading it's just like being in the line at starbucks you know there's certain things that we need to get through our day okay so scorpio do that and also with service here in reverse make sure you shine bright when you take your ass to work okay you know what i'm saying make sure you looking good smelling good and motherfucking feeling good sometimes scorpio we be like fuck that shit <laughs> okay so spirit is telling you to take that extra time to get up and be zest about it now if you really don't like your job and you ain't got nobody fine at your job then you can go and be like hey miss parker it's kind of hard to have that pep in your step but you also need to know that you need to have your pep in that step if you're single and ready to mingle because on your lunch break, you can meet somebody. It could be a new hire in a different department. And if you're looking like a bum, you're like, damn, because you know anybody when it's their first day at work, they putting on their best, baby. Trust me, okay? They looking good, smelling good, and you, you've you been there for months, so you looking like Baba the poo poo. You know what I'm saying? So Spirit is telling you opportunities that can happen at any given time, so be ready for them, all right? So Scorpio, you also got to let go of everything in needing of control okay so you can't control if you're gonna make it on time you can't control if you're gonna do that all you can do is plan and hope for the best whenever you get there is where you when you get there so scorpio don't really put a lot of strain on yourself you need to let go of always downing yourself oh i ain't gonna do it oh this ain't gonna be right it's gonna be right you know get a mantra where everything works out in divine time and i'm always gonna make it there right on time okay say that okay everything works out for me easily and swiftly <clears throat> But I think also with this letting go in the upright Scorpio, you have let go of a lot of things. And because of this, you found a lot of peace. You've also learned a lot of knowledge and you've been speaking a lot of truth, which is also giving you a lot of peace. I feel like Scorpio, you really are balancing out your life and you also are letting things go that are necessary for you to evolve. And that's really, really good, Scorpio. Letting things go is good. And I still think a lot of you guys are still going through the let go process, okay? All right, so let's see what else is going on for my motherfucking Scorpios, okay? All about Scorpios, all about Scorpios, all right? So let me know if you guys like this, okay? So some of you guys are growing and it feels very fucking uncomfortable because your spirit guides and ancestors are doing this, but they want you to expand your consciousness and your awareness. So you're going to have to understand concepts about how, you know, some of the books in the Bible were removed and now you're about to get a clear understanding with those things. What's really going on with the Bermuda Triangle? Why planes and shit that fall over there go there and where are they going? There's a lot of questions that you have, Scorpio, as a mystic creature, as a mystic being as a mystic human and you want to know the answers to this because this is what you're supposed to do this is what your energy this is what your vibrational pattern is yearning for the truth and what the truth really feels like a lot of you guys who are watching this really did believe in the bible like i'm not telling you not to i was christian based as well but some of the stuff just don't all the way add up and you had to ask that like why the hell god gonna make gay people then burn their asses on fire what kind of fucking shit is that that shit is kind of fucked 
fucked up. You know what I mean? So there's just certain things that's just like really wrong, you know? Um, so spirit is just telling you, go with the flows of those questions. You know, you shouldn't be judging nobody. You know, nobody shouldn't be judging you. So as you grow, you are going to be expanding your consciousness with different kinds of ideas. And you will have to say these to people. And they could cause a lot of controversy, Scorpio. But if you stand there firmly behind your ideas and you know that they're of merit and they're of integrity, do what need to do, okay? Because my dad always says, nothing be to failure but a try. And look, we have failure here. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn, okay? But it's sideways so just know that the mistake was made many 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 eons ago and the failure is in reverse because you're the one that has expanded your consciousness to heal these untruths okay that's why that shit is like this because your ancestors and guides is basically healing your throat chakra okay healing your higher intuition which is basically activating your third eye your red red chakra here is your base where your yoni space is in your mind your wand so some of you guys have not been really sexually active in a very long time also here we have the green which is your heart chakra so you are somebody who constantly just give you constantly will help people all the time but you got to be careful with that scorpio because sometimes you got to pull your energy back and you can't always be given to everybody sometimes you got to keep a little shit back and hold it for yourself you feel me all right so let's see what else is going on with scorpios all about scorpio read let me know if you like it in the comments okay so we upgrading our consciousness we're expanding our awareness we're having some new ideas come to us we're letting go and closing out old chapters that no longer serve us we're also getting some kind of routine or balance okay we're also about to be called to do for service here and we have to have a discipline or strict routine to keep us financially afloat or just mentally um straight okay so sometimes we be up in our thoughts okay mm, okay about somebody in the past okay so scorpio sometimes you be thinking about oh okay no scorpios uh, there's a male there's a female that is thinking about you um and there's a male that's thinking about you too okay this person is heavily in your thoughts and maybe you think about them too and wonder you know what it is like what's pulling on you um you know it's crazy all right so we also have poverty so scorpio you could be thinking like dang i don't really know what to do you know this is hard for me that's hard for me but spirit is telling you don't think about things like that don't um put that poverty lack consciousness on your mind okay because you're growing now and as you grow you will expand and money will come to you so spirit is telling you like if y'all need my visualization little things let me know dm me on instagram and i'll send it to you because your thoughts could destroy you by thinking in this lack mindset this also could mean you not thinking like that no more you know because your consciousness has grown you know that all you have to do is program abundance in your mind and it'll also get you on this abundant path your thoughts ain't controlling you anymore you're you're not doing it anymore also you got some kind of female out here thinking about your ass and you also got a main male thinking about your ass okay all right, so let's see what's going on. I feel like this is the past. Like in the past, your mind was destroying you, Scorpio. You kept thinking about poverty, which could be sabotaging you at this time. Spirit is telling you to change your thoughts, okay? Thoughts become things, so just know you are abundant. Put that energy out there, yeah, okay? So we got high honor, official person, pathway, gift, child, marriage, and mature woman, okay? So Scorpio, you have acted in some kind of integrity, okay? which your angels and your guides can see. Now, there's somebody that you thought was going to be official to you. Have your back, be right or die, but they weren't, okay? They proved to not be able to do that for you at that time. So because of that, you had to go a different way, you know? And to you, you feel like it could be a burden, you know what I'm saying, as well. Also, a lot of y'all um, may have recently lost a child here, okay? Maybe even had a miscarriage, and you could have been married here, okay? So a miscarriage or some loss of a child could have been the reason why someone stayed married, okay? Okay, but somebody wants to get a divorce here all right for some of you scorpios and some of you guys are really really concerned about um you know your kids you know and how you're going to provide for them is how it's a gift to wake up with them every day or be with them every day and you just you just i don't know you know you don't want to do that you know but there could be an older woman here a mature older woman letting you know like it's gonna be okay there is life after divorce you know um or your mom could have very strict religious beliefs here for some of you scorpios that know you have to stay in a marriage even if it doesn't work there's bad times and hard times but spirit is telling you 
don't listen to this older person. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're miserable and life is not a gift, you know, you're going to give that gift to your child. You're going to give the gift of lack and sad and depression to your child. And you're going to be responsible for that karma, Scorpio. So be mindful. If your, your love has left a marriage, let it go. And even though this is the old way of thinking of things, you're not thinking like that no more, okay? Some of you guys want a, a marriage. You know, you feel like you ain't never going to get married, but... The person that you had kids with, they were never going to be able to give you this marriage, okay? Some of y'all moms drag y'all about that. Like, y'all the one who picked this little nasty fucker, okay? I don't know whose mom that is, but, you know, you she going to stop, though, because this ain't mature. She going to stop, okay? She really is, all right? So, anyway, <laughs> back to what we got going on. Um, whoever you thought was your official person is not, okay? You have a little bit more integrity. Also, you've been changing your consciousness. So, spirit is lining you up with somebody else, all right? So what new pathway is Scorpio going down now? Okay, so Scorpio, somebody could be in your, you could be really concerned about some things in your mind with imprisonment here sideways. So Scorpio, please get out of your mind about poverty consciousness. You have to do that. You know, if you need my visualization techniques, I will help you with that. Play them shits every day, okay? So what's going on with Scorpio down this new path? What can Scorpio expect down this new path, spirit? What can Scorpio expect down this new path? All right. Service. Okay. So you're going to be doing service. That's what you're going to be doing. This is the second time. So this new path, you're going to be working. All right. So you're going to be working, doing your thing. You could be helping elderly people. Some of you guys could be nurses. Some of you guys could be doctors. Okay. Some of you guys... Also could be people helping people all over the world. But Spirit right now wants you guys to know, Scorpio, that you're going to be really of service. You're going to be doing stuff for you and you're going to be helping people while you do it. All right. I love you guys so much and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. I'm mad at you because you're not suffering the way they expected you to. May you always keep them disappointed.